So hello everyone once again. Uh, thank you everyone for coming. We are gonna have a night show today and I will be creating uh, this uh, card for you which is um, it's I think it's a mix of two things because I feel that it's uh, shabby cheek because it's all about a yummy texture and layers from paper and embellishment with the chipboard and flowers and all and gorgeous papers but also it's kind of vintage color so I think I would call it shabby chic vintage <laughs> if we can combine those two styles um, so this is the card I'm just reading your comments guys it's so nice that so many of you came thank you very much oh hi Debbie uh, my debut from Middles Middlesbrough, where I had my my workshops in March. Hello, hi Diane. Oh, it's so good to see you guys. Thank you so much for joining the live show. It's it's great because um, you know when you preparing for that and when you sharing the links of the show and when you creating a special project for that, it's always it's always nervous that will people show up or not. So it's it's absolutely a great uh, to see so many of you here because that means you want to be part of that special evening uh, part of my evening as well uh, and you want me to be in your home which is great and thank you so much for turning up um, this uh, will be on youtube as you know uh, so whoever couldn't make it always can watch it later it's always like that that the live shows are recorded um, I'm always nervous but excited at the same time because it's completely different I have to look after that I won't swear <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything silly or say anything silly which is in my case really really possible uh, I'm one of those pair people who is extremely um, spontaneous and I have to hold my horses and I just have to make sure I'm not gonna be the most silly here um, but it's a huge joy always and it's a huge challenge for me but I like challenges I absolutely love challenges actually so being here it's 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 just so special and different and once again thank you for coming and thank you for for your time and I, I hope you will enjoy this card I hope I will walk you through the process and that you will just enjoy it with me <laughs> and I'm, I'm when I'm looking left well my left yes uh, I'm just looking at the comments that I have on the chat for those who are watching this now on YouTube there is a chat that I keep on looking at while I'm talking and creating just so you know the next time if you if you don't know how to if, if you've never been on live show there will be of course a link below the video for for the live show um, for the live show Facebook an event that you can join always in the, the all stream channel as well um, yes I'm glad to see you George as well and Helen <laughs> oh my so many familiar faces thank you very much so guys I think enough of that chit chat uh, I'm such a talker sometimes and I'm running into circles saying sometimes same thing but you have to forgive me that this is how I am blah, 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 chatty chatty this is me so I'm gonna turn my camera around uh, and I hope you will enjoy it and have a lovely evening and yes let's start let's start I think my table is kind of not cooperating with me. Oh, there we go. I think we have it. I will bring it closer though because um, um, I think you, you don't see that well. So I'll see if I can bring that right. That's right my camera closer so tell me guys if you can see everything if you can hear everything and if it's all okay for you i would love to know that i'm gonna bring some light so you can see it better yeah with the crappy weather like this good light would be helpful yes i hope you can see this 
Now I'm looking at your chat, guys. Okay, looking good. Okay, well, that's great. That is great. <sighs> chat is going very fast. Yes, it is because I, I'm, I'm not able to catch up with you. So, guys, let's start. Let's begin. Um, this, is, this is the card that we will create today. Um, I love this type of dimensional work where I can simply uh, create different layers and incorporate different bits and pieces within those layers. We're going to work on Seven Dot Studios, those uh, two new collections, it's a fortune teller and another one is the, uh, it's homegrown. Um, I'm, I'm sure most of you are familiar with Seven Dot Studios. Uh, I'm pretty sure about that. So we will work on those. But please, guys, if you have any other paper, as long as they kind of go similar uh, look, similar color, similar theme, it's fine. You can use any sort of paper you wish. I went for a kind of grungy look, kind of vintagey, grayish, um, grayish, greenish, turquoise, dark dark look and uh, and that's what I'm, I'm gonna recreate today uh, so as I said any sort of uh, any sort of paper will be fine I'm gonna start with building the first layer which is uh, which is our uh, base background I'm just gonna cut that on the side the same size and the cut as the card is And I'm going to use double sided tape. Now, thank you so much once again, guys, for being here, for joining tonight. It's always great to see friends uh, that are coming, and it's great to make new friends, and it's great to be part of this community. Am I right? It's great to just be part of this uh, evening and just meet with friends and chit chat life. It's great chit chat life with such a, a big group of people. It's it's a great thing to do. So I'm gonna add my paper. This is my base, and I'm using double sided tape. I wonder, guys, maybe in the chat you can tell me who is doing. Uh, the card, the card, or some project uh, similar to this one, while while you are watching it. I just wonder, is it more that people watch, or is it watch and create at the same time and then recreate? It would be lovely to know. Just out of curiosity, I'm a very curious person. Sometimes um, I finished social studies, and my my goal thing was um, marketing research that I have uh, finished. So that's why kind of numbers and statistics are kind of in my head, naturally, uh, that kind of way. So the next uh, thing will be to add this. Uh, I think I never said that to Karen, uh, the link. I, I, know what you, I know you know what that is. It's from Hardware Store. You tell me the name, guys, because I'm really useless with this, with this thing. It's plaster or something, something, plaster thing. I don't know, some sort of... Some sort of tape, something I'm sure you know. So I'm gonna attach that to create a little interest to my to my cards. I love the strings that are here as a left overs kind of. You can always experiment and try to work around what's happening. I may actually have one more. Drywall tape. This is it. Drywall tape. Thank you very much, Georgie. <laughs> Drywall tape, yes. I I kind of never remember the name of this thing. I just just I just don't. <laughs> Drywall tape. There we go. 
many of us use it, but I just keep on forgetting. So this is uh, this is where the mediums are gonna come hand handy, and I'm using white gesso just to kind of blend in the blend in this tape, and just makes it look nice. I wonder if you can see if if everything is okay for you guys, and. I think I, this time I was lucky to remember and turn off the focus, out of focus thing. So I hope the camera doesn't blur anymore your vision. Like the last two times, I think. At least the first time was really bad. I remember it was out of focusing all the time. So I hope this time it's better. It's a random coverage of gesso. Nothing too specific. Just a little bit here and there. Just to kind of blend in this together so it wouldn't look out of out of this world <laughs> that it wouldn't just look bad so yes this will dry in the meantime and our next step will be to I'm um, to to build next paper layers um I'm using a uh, Finn's silicone brush I absolutely love those brushes they are really great really great for medium medium work and just different when you work with it, just different than the ordinary brush. Um, smoother kind of, they leave the smoother uh, effect than the brush. So, but the brush will do a good job too. So our next step will be to add some other layer. I think I wish this to be a little smaller. So I'm gonna cut. It. Yes, just a little bit smaller, our second layer maybe, so we can see the underneath it better. And I'm going to use the distress tool for my edges. And of course, guys, you can use, you can use scissors. It's maybe a little different effect, but it works. watching also making dinner <laughs> enjoying watching and enjoying <laughs> I love your comments guys I'm not looking at what I'm doing I'm just reading your comments now now in the meantime, my hot glue gun is hot <laughs> because I will be using it. I love using hot glue gun, I, I'll be honest, I really do. It's just such an easy thing to do. And so the next step will be to just add it with my hot glue gun. So I don't want this to be too high, too up high, obviously, because then it would be too much, too many layers, too high. I want this to be, I wish this to be dimensional, but not crazy dimensional. So, this is what we have. And next would be to add another layer, which could be, maybe this is nice. And I will just make that shorter. Don't be afraid to tear the paper. It's, it's okay. You can do it. Just tear your paper. And it leaves this nice effect to tear. And here are the punches. You were asking on Facebook about those punches. They are from a brand called this. Can you see? EK. EK. So Google, I forgot uh, about those links because I didn't think you will ask about them. You can use any border punches you have. It doesn't matter. But those are two truly cool punches. I have to say, I... I don't own many punches, uh, I have very basics like lace uh, design and circles, smaller, bigger, and few side punches, which those are, those are cool, I have to say they are cool. So I will now randomly punch, again, don't be afraid and don't, oh I have to measure here, oh I have to measure here, oh, oh, oh I have to, no, you don't have to, you can just punch away. Swap your punch, use it together, or maybe you want to punch this side, why not? 
why not do whatever you feel do whatever you want and however you want so this is what we have next uh, you don't have to glue it as yet next layer this one or maybe this one i think i prefer this one or maybe this one again mm, that's nice 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 so let's do it's a little too big i find so again let's tear it yeah and i have another cool punch which is which is this one a dotty thing e ek success okay now we have a different ek success and this is as well same brand and it's cool uh, dots which i like Just go crazy with the punch. Don't be afraid to just use it. Now. <clears throat> okay, I like that a lot. But now, because it's darker here and brighter here, if you can see. And if I put darker versus darker, it's kind of not that maybe good visually. So I, I prefer to two dark sides as well. That makes sense. I know it's not rocket science, but trust me, some people may not think of that, which is great to remind them that just look at your color. We we love to be random, but we do love to make some sort of sense in our projects too. Again, I will just use the my hands to to uh, tear my paper. This is it. I absolutely love that look. Now, before we start gluing, let me just look at the comments. If I missed anything, if I if you if I missed anything, you can Karen, you can just text me on Facebook. Yeah. I'm just looking if I'm recording, but you said. <laughs> So I have my phone here if you, if you need me to uh, answer anything. So guys, um, let's go back. Before we glue everything, I'll show you what else we will add. And it's called Seasonal. Seasonal, I think. It's this. It's this thing. This. It's like a hay. It's like rabbit food. No. But it's just season I think it's called correct me guys if I'm wrong because uh, I got it ages ago it lasts you forever the one bag uh, so in some layer maybe maybe the very first layer I'm just gonna add it underneath it like this and then let's see how this will look that will be gorgeous so Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so we can start adding uh, and gluing our layer, but before that, we need 3D foam in here. Um, I'm having my 3D foam in a roll. Messy stuff. <laughs> it is very messy, that's why it's in the bag. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. Hello, Tiffany. Welcome, good to see you. Tiffany is uh, Tiffany is another YouTube girl. She's making beautiful YouTube videos. You have to go and check her YouTube uh, YouTube channel. And she does live show live show with Prima, and she's a very talented girl. So welcome, Tiffany. Glad you found time to to be here with us. And now. Some people ask me, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm going to repeat myself or not. Normally what everyone would do probably is just to stick it like that. But I just want to be sure. I just want to be sure that I know what I'm doing, that everything will be stick as it should be. So I'm adding even glue uh, on top of the 3D foam thing. That's just me. And especially with the season, it's very hard to keep it 
to keep it sticked. So I just want to make sure I have sticked everything properly and that it looks great. Now don't worry about the mess, we're gonna cut it cut 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 this around of course, so not to worry. Now I love what I see by the way, which is great. Now next will be to add some glue only in the middle because we will be sticking things underneath it. There we go. There we go. Uh, no need for blushing, uh, <laughs> Tiffany. Everyone, everyone knows how talented you are, guys. So you need the applause here because you are doing beautiful projects. Now I'm gonna cut around that, guys, and and it it will not be that messy, <laughs> for sure. There we go. Usually I don't do that, but I want <laughs> it don't blow it. But I want to have a clean surface while um, with you. I, I'm not sure if this is what made you, my life harder. Oh, now, now I can see it better, and I hope you can see it better too. Come on, love. Are you there? I'm giving enough light. Maybe. Does it make any better? No. Probably not. Hmm. Okay, anyway, let's keep on doing. The next uh, step would be to add some chipboards. And as you know, I absolutely love chipboards from Scrappy Nets. Uh, and I have a few very old collections, very old, kind of, because they are, I think, 2013 or 2014 collections, which is quite old for craft goodies, you know, yourself, and, and uh, I just love those, I just absolutely love those um, border chipboards, and I think they are so uh, forgotten, and I have found them some time ago, and using those um, borders, because they are absolutely stunning, as you can see, it's empty, don't throw those guys, keep those, it's, it's already pretty as it is, even this look, you can always use it somewhere else. You can really use the, 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 the other piece. It's so pretty as it is. Or even spray it. Use it as your stencil for sprays. Uh, that would be fun, isn't it? I think it would work great as your uh, stencil for your for your spray. So most definitely keep that, guys. Um, that's another one which I truly, truly love. Another old... A design, forgotten old design from Scrapinets, which I, I just absolutely adore and, and use it a lot. So I'm going to combine those today to create some extra dimension for our, for our card. No, and again, keep that, keep that, you may just use this. Uh, it's just too pretty to throw it away. Even if you can cut it in smaller pieces, look, you could you, you could have some dimensional 3D texture for your for your background for your page or um, project other project canvas. Just if you're not even sure, keep it. If you're not sure, keep it. Who makes those borders? Scrapping it. It's a Polish manufacturer, um, but. There's plenty shops now uh, worldwide that is uh, selling scrapinets. For example, in states you can buy scrapinets from the scrapbook diaries. You have some shops in UK. Um, I think Spain is it? Spain. Uh, I. Anyway, there is quite a number of shops selling scrapinets. So for sure, Google for yourself scrapinets chipboards in your own country, and I'm sure you will find you will find some sh local shop uh, online store that is uh, selling scrapinets. Um, or you can buy it directly from scrapinets, of course. Uh, you can log in and uh, open a little account there and just buy it from them. There is a different currency, 
at first, but you can change and swap the language for English and work or like over on their website, which is a huge choice. Because those those are old, as I said, designs that I just discovered that I absolutely love. So they may not be in the other international shops. They will be in Scrapinets, hundred percent. And so you can you can get them from Scrapinets directly or ask your local shop to to buy them for you. So let's keep on going. I am a chatter. Am I not? I am chatter chatter. It's very delicate look, so it's like extremely delicate, so be very careful. But even if it rip off, that's okay, don't worry. So we're gonna have to work pretty fast now guys, because we're gonna have to stuff it in here and make sure that we will glue it at the same time while trying to be precise. Okay, this fall. That's okay. So I'm only adding glue, hot glue, at the very at the few edges here and there. And quickly, 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 quickly squeeze this under your layer of paper. There we go. Come on. Now there we go. And the one that broke down. Okay, then let's use this one because I will only stop it in half of it. So I will just half it basically. So I'm gonna cut it in half. And I will try to attach this kind of here. You can also attach it. Yes, those are very pretty, I have to say. One of my favorites. We can attach it there and then you can try to add glue gun, glue, hot glue. Just quickly like this. So put it up and just quickly go with your glue and like this. So maybe two different ways of adding glue to chip for us like this, depending what's easier for you. Now I have to make sure to add another layer, which will be this one, and maybe like that, or this. And that's another chipboard. This is a um, Scrapinets once again. It's a dimensional uh, chipboard. Uh, one of my favorite, one of my must-have chipboards, one of my must-have frame, basically. It contains two pieces. Both of them could be used separate. Yes, they could. As you can see, look, it's keep even those. Keep that. Keep that. It's cool. Uh, you can use them even like that. It's it's even pretty like this. But then, when you combine those together, again, keep that. Pretty chipboard, isn't it? <laughs> pretty pretty. Uh, the chat is the chat doesn't move. I wonder <laughs> why. <laughs> are you gone, guys? Are you gone? Are you or are you creating with me? That would be good to know. Okay. I had I had some cute message. How do you um how to get that chat option on the on the social stream on the top um let me give, give me two seconds i'm just gonna answer a friend because she wished to join the chat and i'm gonna post her info how to post her message how to do the the chat because i don't know in english how to say it but i'm gonna send her fo photo there you go. I hope this will help. <laughs> it's Sue, by the way, if she will log, if she will log in. It's Sue. Uh, anyway, so those two combined together, it's absolutely stunning as it is. Come on, every single card will be just beautiful. Every uh, every layout with it. Just, it's just pretty. I have to say, those dimensional 3D effects, chipboards. 
cartridge. Not only that the, they were delicate, so for mixed media work, of course they will work, but you have to be very careful how much mediums you will add uh, because they are very delicate. And I love the fact that they are very bright, uh, that the chip of color is bright whitish, so you don't even have to alter it and change the color. So anyway, I'm going to quickly just add some glue here. Normally, you should kind of use, you know, some delicate glue so the glue wouldn't be visible as such uh, from, from underneath it. But I'm today kind of rushing, so I'm just going to add it like that. And I don't mind that the, you can see the glue. But if you wish to be more precise, do it without the glue. It's just going to be nicer. Without the hot glue gun, I mean because it's always too big and you always see things, but that's okay too. Uh, it's handmade, <laughs> so you can. Anyway, this bit now, we will add as well, just a little in the middle, as you can see, in the middle, so we can stop in things once again. And I wish to have this bit, If you, uh, I don't see Sue, so maybe she didn't say hello. Maybe she's not watching. Maybe she couldn't log in or something. And now I will. Where will I add it? Well, I can add it here, which could be nice. Or I could add it maybe, maybe actually there. Yes, I think for some feeling reason I prefer that. That's it. And I will just add a glue. Boom. And that's it. Maybe a little more. Not too much. No. So we're nearly there, guys. Why don't I add something else here? Maybe just a spare paper would be cute and nice. Yes, I like that. I like that. Just some interest, some extra interest. No. And there we go. And the next step will be really to add our frame and to add some wording which I have up oh, two seconds two seconds I'm coming I'm coming I'm here I have few few of them I got them in my local store it's a handy set of of this Happy birthday, with love, congratulations, and what else we have there? Just for you, your baby. Again, I got them in local store. No link, because it's just a stationary store. So no link, I can't provide you with the link, but it's very handy. Um, because I'm really bad with all of that oh, birthday wishes, maybe. I'm very bad with all those printouts and uh, I much prefer to have it done like that. Now we will add this somewhere here. Now let me see if Sue got my message, she did. But I don't see her on our show. Maybe you could you could help so if she is having trouble to turn on the chat. <laughs> so this is it. Um, and then we need some pretty paper, uh, pretty flowers. And I decided to go for turquoise, maybe. Here we have the green, but you can add really any color you wish. And this turquoise seems to be very pretty. And then it would be nice to add some butterfly. I have few two ideas to show you. Um, you can 
cut your butterfly from some paper or you can use just uh, a sticker and I think that this time I will go for a sticker and this is if you can get it anywhere this is Anita Anita's dimensions instance dimensional effect stickers it's from Docraft it's from Docraft yeah the, the chat went quiet I was thinking the same <laughs> so this is what I will add I absolutely love this butterfly <clears throat> there we go and I will use that foam as well just a little bit for my butterfly No, a little bit too, too, too big, too long. No. We are mesmerized. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no. So we have our no. It's a bit too, 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 too long. Two seconds. Maybe I'll get that little circle. Maybe this will be better. Yes, a circle. And I'm going to use two of them. So one and then a second. So it will be even more dimensional. There we go. So we have that. So now I'm building the composition kind of and try to see how things will be. And also maybe in the meantime, I will add those birthday wishes thing because it is... It is moving too much, so first I'm going to just add my frame, add the frame, and again I'm not using glue gun, I just find it very fast to work with, and I love that. Now, this is sticking out a little bit, so I'm going to get some glue there. Now. There we go. Oh, now I feel it's not straight. Sometimes I feel it has to be super straight. Okay. Now. So we have the frame added, and then I'm going to add a foam under my. Or maybe instead of foam, I use the circles again. 3D circles. No. How is the chat? Oh, Debbie, I have messages. So good. <clears throat> yeah, I love those butterflies. And you know something? Those are quite simple butterflies as in you know like for kids projects but I really don't mind using those kind of things because you know finding different uh, possibilities and options and buying things and uh, that aren't super expensive is great because this was the, those stickers butterflies were one, they were 165 which is nice it's just okay price for that much of gorgeous butterflies and I have also black and white and I have the red one and I have the purple and I have the turquoise pink and blue fish anyway I absolutely love them all um, again Anita from do craft if you can find it be great so we have that and I'm gonna add the uh, so is watching but cannot access the chat that's a pity watching the ads can anyone fix a navy ship with a hot glue gun I don't understand that I don't, I'm gonna add even more glue because the 
I know it's out group because the frame is quite quite uh, high. So I hope that this will yes, it's sticking, it's perfect. So this is sticked, we have it. So let's build the rest of the composition and think for where things should be. We could have a bigger flower next to our butterfly, and then we could have a little smaller flower. And mm -hmm. what about this flower? Well, we put out the star. I did put out the star, guys. You see, when I love something. I, I just buy the things that I truly love and they're a good price, they're good quality and that they will last for long because truthfully uh, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 butterflies which will last you for quite a number of projects whether it's a card, whether it's your journal and truthfully uh, each of them is different, pr really pretty and I just, and it's, it's, it's cute that there is a glue in here in the middle and the rest is floppy they, they don't stick so it's like a, you know there is no sticker in here there is no glue here just the middle part has a glue which is great because you can just make it even more dimensional looking uh, so with that said I did buy all of the colors because I think it's a good investment uh, and butterflies are in fashion always so that's uh, that's yeah <laughs> that's me i just love butterflies sorry let me see if i have some turquoise uh, flowers that would go nicely with this maybe this what else we have there's few of them actually a nice mix Brown, <clears throat> brown, no, but this could be nice, it's lovely, prima leaf, no, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love looking through flowers like that because you never know what you will find, right, and flowers that are forgotten, and that's, that is great finding always. Oh, the black looks nice. Look at that. But no, maybe not this time. This, no. Maybe this, and maybe this. Let's see. Let's build the composition again. You have this card. Oh, yes, and for Jack, we don't get the same. Okay. So, I'm going to move my, move my crunches. And... So, no, I think the butterfly still should be there. I'm going to add it already because it's just the fact that it's moving. I'm not it's annoying me that it's moving. So I will add it like that. There we go. And maybe this would be nice. This would be nice. Oh yeah, probably this, am I right? Maybe like that. Oh, that looks good to me. That looks nice. Ah. I'm glad you like the card, guys. I hope it's not too dark for you. It is dark. Yeah, I should have it there. Okay, so let me glue those down. So we have a mix of different flowers. I think this one is petal. This one has petal. I think this is prima. This one is prima as well. mix of different ones. This one is Prima as well. 
and this one is the, the cheaper version of flowers. I don't know the brand. I know. I know you don't know. The from UK brand, I think. And Prima again. So, you know, a mix, a good mix of different flowers. Uh, not necessarily only the expensive ones. I will see if anything else will match nicely to it or not. Because it could. No, maybe not. I have those little roses which I love. Maybe those roses would be cute to add uh, here. Thank you guys, I'm glad you like, you like the card. Thank you. <laughs> we need to add gem. Let me find some. And I think this will be just perfect. There we go. A little cute, cute gem. Oh. shiny gem, something very tiny and pretty and I will see if those roses are a good, good choice <coughs> or not. Fabulous with the blue. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that uh, so many like that, so my friend she loves blue. She loves everything with blue. <laughs> now let's see if this will look any good to us or not. Oh no, I think it would be too much, am I right? I think it would be way too much. No, 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 no. We need something smaller here. So maybe those tiny bits, tiny flowers, those kind of flowers which aren't too big. Oh no, wait, I have it, two seconds. Light, light, light blue flower. Yes, I'm thinking the same, guys. Light, light blue could be nice. But look, adding the, adding the leaves could be quite cute. Oh, I think I have find super light, light blue. <laughs> what about this? really tiny that will just complement the whole thing. You don't want to overload your project anymore because it's already full of things. Thank you very much guys, I'm glad you enjoyed that card. So those are very tiny blue flowers and those are very cute, look. Very, very small. Hi. Yeah, <laughs> someone is coming today. That's okay. Now it can go here. It can go maybe there. And could be here or here. No. Actually, uh, I added also chipboards. I, I show you 
I added kind of here. So a little bit of the chipboard, and you can also add it to your like here. You know, just to fill in the gap, just here. You don't have to because it's only it's only kind of optional thing to see if it's gonna be nice. Oh, I like that. See, because it was quite dark here, quite empty, dark spot here. And adding this is kind of like, I don't know, I think, no, no. <laughs> that building composition could be tricky. <laughs> yeah, I love those little flowers too. They are very pretty indeed. Little, little something. Okay, and where is that? We can maybe add it there. Yeah. Yeah, and we have that. I think we we can easily finish at this point. Now, I like them both. Yeah, little pieces of chipboard, they're just adding this little, little touch. You can also add it here, maybe. Um, let me see. Maybe here. Yes, that would be super nice. Do you know, sometimes you can just experiment and cut half your flower. Cut in half the flower, cut in half your chipboard. Don't be afraid to look for different ways of doing things and to just uh, experiment. Someone recently said to me in the message, I think um, one, of, one of the girls that watches my videos and she was saying that it's great to know about the tools because um, she was afraid to make a mistake when she was using some mediums. And I was trying to tell her that it's never a mistake. And even if it is, that's okay. You can make a mistake. You can use wrong materials because you never know if this wrong material will not turn out to be amazing mistake in terms of discovering some great technique or some amazing um, effects. So don't be afraid. <laughs> You're gonna try this. Thank you very much. Good. I'm glad you like it, guys. <laughs> it looks great, so beautiful, I love them both. Next week, yes, next week we have Terry on the show, so join in. Uh, even a little, someone said about little bow. Yes, a little, a little bow would, would uh, fill the gap, would be great. So here it is, guys, we have two, two cards. One is with the green, one is with the turquoise. I like them both. I I, I really do like them both. Huh. Different but similar. So I'm gonna turn on the turn the camera back to me. now oh. and I will put that out <laughs> thank you very much guys thank you very much for your comments I I'm glad you like the card guys I'm really glad you like the card okay I'm a bit further now <laughs> and I'm all sweaty <laughs> because it was intense so we made it, we managed to finish off two cards. Thank you very much, guys, for your comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So we have those two cards. Here is a better look now. There you go. Thank you, Karen, for all your help. 
So thank you so much for joining us tonight. And there is a live show every single week. Um, and you can join the live shows and you can uh, create with the artists or you can just uh, watch it and enjoy it and then recreate it in your own time or do it while the show is on. You always meet great people, friends, make friends and be in the community and spirit of um, artists or of us, all of us, handmade, handmade handmakers and makers people that love craft and creating mixed media card making journal learning it doesn't matter what you're into you can always learn new things find out new things and enjoy basically so i really truly thank you so much from the bottom of my heart thank you for being here for all your lovely messages all your lovely comments and sweet words of support you are so much loved i appreciate it and yes till the next time and um, once again, thank you, thank you very, very much. See you, see you very soon. Bye.